Can I, can I have a look at the, um, the graph, other no, the there, slide where you show the density there of There is no question in the chat box. Mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, and that's one uh, from the started calculations. This one? So here um, is the material a metal or a semiconductor, because at one point you mentioned that it has a small band gap about like 0 0.3 electron volt or so. Yeah. But when I look at the first uh, graph here, like uh, figure 2A, I don't see any band gap in that block. So can you explain that? So it's... Uh... First, at a neutral state, there we are able to see few um, means small band gap. Um, but but I don't see it here in figure two a. I don't see a band gap here. Yeah, because um, uh, I already said that when we add uh, doping, uh, p dopt and n dopt, they actually. No, no okay. Please tell about uh, how do you generate density of states and uh, tell more about width parameter, how the delta function on the bottom equation is represented. Um, so, um, Professor, actually, um, this one, um, we add P in, in, in doping there. Inside. No, no, no. Explain the procedure. Uh, okay. Professor Hong is interested how the density of states is calculated and why on the fee, on the panel A it looks like there is no gap. What is the gap for the panel A according to your calculations? Panel A 0.3 band gap. Point four, around point 0.4. Okay. Yeah, but but we don't see that. We don't see that. So in the why 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 the purple and white areas overlap? Is it artifact uh, that you can fix or it is uh, objective observable? How, how would, would you learn what is the band gap based on your panel A? Should you look uh, on the area where uh, purple and white overlaps or should you look uh, at the tops of the peaks? Uh, from the graph, yeah, top of the peak. So can you explain uh, uh, about the width of the speaks, what it is? And is it results of calculations or human manipulations? First, what I did in that, uh, we have data. So from that, I got the, I able to get the band gap from the data. And then I am trying to explain that one from the graph. And it's visible that from the peak there is occupied and the, uh, figure 1a, no, no, sorry, 2a. So it's a uh, peak around 0.4 and there is 0.8. So uh, if we did the difference, then it shows that um, around uh, 0.4 band gap there, it's visible. Yes, uh, but um, to finally convince Professor Huang about the question, when you prepare density of states image. Which parameters do you enter? And do you uh, introduce the width corresponding to each, uh, each orbital energy? What was this width parameter and can you change it? Okay. Say yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I used, I follow the step of the density of the state. Then I got this result. But can you change the width of each peak? Width of? Width, width parameter. Mm, yes, I. Uh, yes, OK, thank you. Uh, uh, Professor Hank, uh, does it satisfy your uh, question or you need more explanations? Uh, I think that's fine. Uh, that's fine. I mean, the main point here is it seems to have a small band gap, but because yes. during the calculation, you you know, yeah, it's a problem in effects. You know, you have to use either uh, you know, you know, a Fermi function or a delta function with a finite width, right? And yes. if you choose the parameter is 
if the parameter is quite last, you know, you had an overlap. Exactly, it, exactly. And it's it, just, uh, you know, artifact from the calculation. Exactly, and, and it makes a uh, deceptive uh, impression on, on the graph. But uh, ob objectively, the, the, the gap is here. Yeah, thank you for the question. Uh, more questions to the speaker? Okay, here is two questions, one from Amir and one from... Uh, okay, please Shakilina, read them. I guess. Please uh, read them. Okay. Um, first, Amir's question, did you test both charge injection and adding of real dopamine? Yes. Yeah. So, um, we add charge and also we add doping as well. P type and N type doping inside there. And Professor Kilina's question. Uh, okay, just, just a second. Uh, please indicate which of your uh, panels on the DOS corresponds to uh, real dopant. For example, real P dopant. Okay, so real P doping is the uh, D, uh, 2D. This one. Okay. So B is and injection, D is, is dopant. Okay, yeah, thank you. And okay. uh, please read the second uh, question. How do your calculated gaps agree with experimental values for this material? How do you calculate? Um, so so if, if you didn't check, say I didn't. So, uh, yeah, I didn't check uh, for the experimental things. It's uh, just a computational part. So if I have chance to check, then I, I, I need to do that do later think? because I don't know. But even if I don't, know. I have no knowledge. It means I need to check in the experimental part. I never did. But even if you didn't you didn't compare directly to the experiment. Uh, what do you expect based on the calculations which you are doing? So you're using the functionals, right? And you probably know already what the problems or maybe what the weaknesses of using this or that functional. So what exactly you expect? Are you really expecting that your band gaps would be very accurate, underestimated, overestimated? In general, maybe not just for this material, but some general trends in the functionals, like if you choose GG, it looks like you were doing it with PBE, GGA functional, right? Yes. So what do you know about GGA functions? Are they really very accurate in providing band gaps for the semiconducting materials? Or, or, they, or they make the gaps uh, somewhat smaller than they actually are? Smaller or bigger, what do you know? Sorry. Sorry, Professor, can you repeat the question? Oh, the value of the gap depends on the choice of functional. Would the gap become bigger if you use different functional? Then I need to check with other function because I just use one function and it shows the less band gap. I don't know that uh, if other function will show the um, okay. different band gap or not. But I think uh, it will be more or less uh, showing the uh, almost same. May, Little bit difference may be occurred, but not okay. too much. What if you take other functional? Can you say which functional you can take and what you expect? The gap will be bigger if you take another functional or smaller if you take this other functional. And name the functional which you can take if it's not your PBE. Um, or you don't need to name the functional. You can just name the type of the functional. Okay. So there are GGA functions, there are hybrid functionals, there is long range corrected fun functions, there is uh, uh, there is a uh, hybrid function, yeah, uh, HSE, okay. 06, that one, we can use that one. Okay, if you use HSE, then you expect the gap will be smaller or larger comparing uh -huh. to results which you already have. Uh, gap and that will be uh, give the more band gap. Okay, so it will increase the gap, and HSC is called actually short range corrected functionals. Okay. okay, so the gap really depends on the function which you use, and GGA functions are known to underestimate the band gap for semiconducting materials. 
So usually they do not agree with experiment. It would be really surprising if they do. <laughs> so it is known the main, the common failure of GGA functional such as PVE is that they make the gap smaller comparing to the actual one. And there is a reason, but I probably stop the discussion here. This reason probably will be another question to another student. <laughs> hey, uh, are there more questions to Kia? Uh, more questions one, more questions two, more questions three. Let's thank, uh, please join me thanking Kia once again.